I want to introduce someone who is definitely has achieved the year of her dreams and in turn will inspire you to shoot for the moon. Vicki Piccarelli began her Mary Kay business in January of 2004 and debuted as a sales director in March of 2005. She has completed the unit club 11 times and this is her fourth appearance in the circle of excellence. This is Vicki's first time as queen of her seminar. Everyone, ladies and gentlemen, let me be honored to welcome the number one sales director for the Sapphire Seminar, my dear friend, your new teacher, independent future executive senior sales director, Vicki Piccarelli. seminar. Woo! This is the most humbling experience I've had in my life and I'm grateful for the opportunity to represent my unit as the number one unit in our seminar. Piccarelli Pearls of Promise, please stand as we applaud you so you can receive the recognition that you deserve. I love you. I purposefully surround myself with people who know me the good, the bad, and the ugly, yet still love me. When I forget who I am, they remind me. When I fall, they pick me up, dust me off, and send me on my way toward the vision they know the Lord has given me. Thank you, Pastor James, Rochelle, Darylin, and Charlene, for protecting me and my vision while not allowing me to go down paths of self-destruction. My Circle 7 prayer sisters, Amy, Lucia, Lisa, Maureen, and Rochelle, I'm grateful for you and the way we sharpen each other as iron sharpens iron. We pray over you every week, whether you know that or not. All of you here. <laughs> to my offspring, Melissa, Courtney, Darylin, and Beverly, thank you for stretching, teaching, growing, and inspiring me to be better. I've had my Mary Kay business for 12 and a half years, and never once did I dream, expect, or set a goal to be the queen of a seminar. I know that may be hard to believe, but year after year, as I sat there, or there, or way up there, either as a new consultant, a new director, and then as a circle of excellence director, I'd set many goals, but never to be queen. I watched in awe as the queen was crowned each year and thought, wow, they've got it all together. They've done amazing things and changed so many lives. I wondered what they had to do to get there. Well, I can't tell you their stories, but I can tell you what I've experienced in my journey. I was born in London, England, and when I was seven, my parents decided to leave our life in the UK and move to Florida. I practiced my American accent. I met Robert our senior year of, of high school. We went to prom together, stuck together through college, where we were coerced into joining USF's co-ed cheerleading squad. And yes, he can still hold me up above his head. <laughs> and after we graduated college, we got married. I was a math and science lover and graduated with my degree in biology. Although my dream was to become a doctor, the doctors I worked for while in college talked me out of it. We had Charlie two years after we married and Robbie two years after that and I became a stay-at-home mom. When Charlie approached kindergarten, I desperately wanted to put him in private Christian school. I had been raised in an atheist home and after surrendering to Christ in my 20s, it was extremely important to me that my boys were raised in a Christian environment, but we had no money. In fact, we had over $40,000 of credit card debt. Enter Mary Kay. My girlfriend had started a business and needed help with a training call and a party. 
I said yes because I felt, far, I felt sorry for her and imagined that things must be even worse for her if she needed to resort to selling lipstick. Her director, Kathy Littlejohn, did the training call two days before my party. And although she explained things well, I couldn't imagine myself selling anything, let alone makeup, which I didn't wear. And since I hated the color pink with a passion, I felt it must have been a sign from God that I should not do this Mary Kay thing. At my party, though, I fell in love with the science and the integrity behind the skincare. If they made such a high quality product, it must be an upstanding company. My friends loved everything as well, and as I saw customers sitting at my table, I decided to start my business. At my first party, my voice shook so badly that I thought the women purchased product, product simply because they felt sorry for me. But practice makes perfect. After attending my first career conference and receiving the educated, education that I needed, I set a goal to do my first power start. Surely, by the time I'd done 30 faces in 30 days, I'd be able to hold a skincare class without shaking in my boots. After multiple power starts, I not only perfected my party, I earned the use of my first Mary Kay career car and became a sales director. My second seminar, I attended as a brand new sales director with some new and excited unit members. Being overwhelmed, I felt completely inadequate to lead them. After crying the entire seminar, I went home and did all that I knew to do. Power starts. In fact, I did 12 in a row that year and taught consultants to do the same. We came back to seminar as a circle of excellence unit, having earned the trip to Spain our first full year as a unit and no credit card debt. Every one of those four consultants that came with their scared and emotional director to seminar that previous year had earned the use of a career car and had become directors. I love to tell you that we just continue to go up and up from there, but that's not my story. Although we've earned three more trips since then, we had many years that we went backwards or got stuck. Regardless of where we were on the scoreboard, I was constantly growing and changing as a woman, wife, mother, and leader. My business funded private Christian school for both boys until we moved and chose to homeschool them. That was a big change in our life, but the year I started homeschooling my boys was my second trip winning year. My obedience to what I was called to do both at home and in my business was greatly rewarded. Homeschooling the boys has given us freedom to travel and set our own schedule. Last year, we earned a trip to my hometown. Robert and I enjoyed London, Mary Kay style, while my boys and my mom stayed with family and they enjoyed London, non-Mary Kay style. <laughs> we have been studying World War II. So we took the whole family, Rochelle and Vince came too, and hopped over to Paris, and we toured Normandy as the boys taught me things I didn't know about that monumental battle. This year, parties, parties, parties is what we focused on. After leadership, we launched the tour to tables with my top director girlfriends. We had some friendly competition between our units to see who could hold the most parties around a kitchen or dining room table by June 30th. I traveled around my community and at times around the country, going to as many parties in women's homes with my consultants as possible. We took pictures and posted the stats on our Tour de Tables Voxer. On June 30th, we crossed the finish line as the first official Tour de Tables champions, having our best June ever. Sometimes I have to pinch myself when I think of all the riches God has brought me with my Mary Kay starter kit. But the most fulfilling of these are the relationships. Let me introduce you to a few women that I get to do life with, because their story is my story. Meet Rachel, who after discovering breast cancer in her early 20s, was able to have some of her eggs preserved with the hope that after chemo, she and her husband Matt could still have babies. 
She started her Mary Kay business during the five-year remission period needed before attempting to get pregnant. As she built her business, we developed a deep friendship to the point at which I sat next to her husband in the surgery room as the doctors put two fertilized eggs in her womb. We sat praying that at least one would take and give them the baby they desperately wanted. Nine months later, I was bringing sushi and champagne to their hospital room to celebrate the arrival of Madeline, the most beautiful red-headed little girl you've ever seen. I could stop there and Rachel's story would be enough to rival any Lifetime Channel movie, but for us it was only the first chapter. About a year later, Rachel stood in my office telling me why she was feeling so sick at Fall Retreat. She was miraculously pregnant the natural way. <laughs> and after I got over the shock of being left out of this conception, <laughs> the nerve, we laughed and cried at God's faithfulness. Three months ago, she had Hannah, my goddaughter, and we all sit together in church marveling at God's miracles. B was at one of my first skincare classes when I was a brand new consultant. She became a loyal customer and about five years later, out of the blue, called and said she wanted to become a consultant. She is one of the most consistent and loyal star consultants in my unit, never missing a thing. She was one of my team captains as we raced to have our best June ever. Thank you, B, for your love for this business and for me. There's Haley who began her business after I met her at a party. She never missed a meeting or coaching appointment and we built a close friendship. She knew she was missing something and wanted what I had, so she asked me questions about church. She and her boyfriend Julio and their young son Sebastian began coming. A few weeks later, after our Monday night meeting, we sat in my studio as I led her to Christ and gave her her first Bible. Shortly after that, Julio and Haley asked me to officiate their wedding in Colorado. As apparently in Colorado, they'll let anyone officiate weddings. <laughs> and there I was, after some training from Pastor James, standing on a beautiful mountaintop, marrying this precious young couple, and at the same time celebrating their new pregnancy. Now this special family of four sit next to us in church, and just a few Sundays ago, Pastor James and I together baptized Haley. <clears throat> At one of Haley's first parties, I met Barb, who as I constantly tell her is an answer to prayer. She works her business consistently and with passion alongside her full-time job at the hospital and has just earned her first Mary Kay career car and will be finishing DIQ this month. She also joins us in church, attending for the first time in her life. Cindy has earned the use of three career cars and leads a tremendous team of women, including precious Diane, who is here today. After deciding to take a break from leadership, Cindy came back into my unit, and last night she crossed this stage, picking up her ring as a court of sales achiever. Yay, Cindy. Cindy has been a, one of my greatest cheerleaders and she constantly reminds me that what we have as a unit is so special. Ashley lives in Kansas and I travel to work with her from Tampa every six weeks or so. We have experienced one divine appointment after another together as we are building her career car earning team. We met Mary at one of her most recent parties. And Mary sits here as a new star consultant and she needed to be here. I met Ashley through her sister-in-law, Jennifer, and Jennifer is also earning her first career car. She, asking, after asking many questions about my faith, Jennifer began coming to church with her husband, Aaron, and their precious two and three-year-old boys. Jennifer constantly teases me and keeps me laughing at myself. So important. I met Jennifer through Desiree. Now, Des, I did not meet at a party. I met Des at the store Buckle that she was managing. I was there hoping to get some jeans fixed for our Nashville Leadership Conference, 
And Duds is so great in sales that instead of leaving with my fixed jeans, I walked out with over $300 worth of merchandise. New boots and a pair of jeans that, according to Des, made, made my butt look awesome. <laughs> Who wouldn't buy them, really? Okay, I booked her as a guest and she coached me the whole time I was at leadership. She became a consultant and five months later earned the use of her first Mary Kay career car. <laughs> Des and her boyfriend, Corey, also sit with us on Sunday mornings. She is growing into a beautiful leader. Des, Jennifer, and Ashley will be phenomenal directors in my area. Jill is my last story. She's an important part of my story. She started her business recent, recently divorced and recovering from an abusive marriage. I led her to Christ, and a few months ago, we all watched Pastor James baptize her at our church picnic. She is so special. I love you, Jill. You see, we do life together. In the years I've had a Mary Kay business, I've loved, mentored, and coached women to success. I've helped women earn the use of 55 career cars. <laughs> guiding many to the position of director. I've also learned how to release some women as graciously and lovingly, and lovingly as I've raised them. I've been present at moments of conception and birth, as well as moments when consultants have lost family. I've pinned new consultants, educated consultants, developed leaders, picked up new cars, led consultants to Christ, baptized consultants, and even officiated weddings for consultants. Tell me, what other career or job would allow you to experience life this full? I'm going to close with one final life story. Last month, actually two weeks ago yesterday, I helped a new consultant, Diana, with her first Mary Kay party. Her hostess, Tina, had tragically lost her niece and in memory had her name tattooed on the arch of her foot. After embracing her over her loss, I shared that I was not a tattoo person, but if I were ever to get one, it would be a bumblebee right here on my hip, a little bumblebee. I proceeded to tell the Mary Kay bumblebee story and added that I had just received a call from Julia Gulia Wilson informing me that our unit was one of the top three in the Sapphire Seminar. They celebrated with me and began to layer me with the idea that we should go and get my bumblebee tattoo after the party. I laughed it off, but throughout the party, every time I mentioned the second appointment, they mentioned my tattoo. <laughs> so after they purchased everything they tried, we hopped in my pink caddy, and I now sport a cute little bumblebee right here on my head. <laughs> Not a drop of alcohol, I promise. <laughs> Diana is here. She's only been in the company five weeks. And I told her that after that experience, she can never quit. <laughs> what I really want to share with you is don't let go of your dream. You'll go through some really hard and disappointing times in your business. But let them grow, soften, and strengthen you instead of harden, disengage, and disassociate you. You'll go through some really hard and disappointing times in life but allow them to turn you towards your Mary Kay business and friends instead of away from them. The rewards and riches you will receive from boldly following your dreams will far outweigh the hardship and heartbreak. Work like everything depends on you. Pray like everything depends on God. Run hard, reach high, and discover that you will touch the sky when your knees hit the ground. Make this the year of your dreams. Thank you. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen,
please give a standing ovation to your number one sales director, independent future executive senior sales director, Vicki Piccarelli.